It has been two years since a Navy sailor was gunned down while trying to help two brothers stranded on the side of the freeway. And today the shooter was sentenced to life in prison without parole. 21 year old Curtis Adams told his girlfriend that he was going to stop to be a good Samaritan. Little did he know the brothers had two flat tires from a robbery turned shooting earlier that night. Tonight, News 8's Abby Alford shares the strong words the victim's family and friends had for his killer. Powerful letters written from letters read during the sentencing of a man convicted of killing the late Navy sailor Curtis Adams. He had told his girlfriend that he was going to be a good Samaritan, but moments later he was gunned down. The judge told the court we lost a remarkable man. Emotional words from the mother of the late U.S. Navy sailor Curtis Adams murdered in October 2018 after pulling over to help a carload of stranded passengers on the freeway. I just wish I could hold my son again. I am so emotional right now. I, as a mother, it hurts. It hurts. The district attorney says that Adams, who was 21 at the time, and his girlfriend, Deja Harris, stopped at the I-15 and I-5 connector ramp to help those in the disabled car. When Adams got out, he was shot several times in the chest. The DA says that brothers Brandon and Edson Acuna had just planned a robbery in Mount Hope where they were shot, leaving them with two flat tires. Edson's defense attorney says that he thought Adams was a homeowner, calling it mistaken self-defense. Harris addressed the brothers in court. You guys are cowards. All he wanted to do was help you. You deserve to be behind bars for the rest of your lives. 23-year-old Brandon Acuna pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced to 13 years in prison. A jury convicted 26-year-old Edson Acuna of murder. The judge sentenced the 26-year-old to life in prison without parole. I want to say I'm truly sorry for the loss of your family member. The district attorney and the media have painted a picture of me as a monster, as a COVID and as a cold-hearted villain. That's not true. The judge did not spare Acuna any time in prison. This world, I think, was deprived of the contributions that I know Mr. Adams was going to make. There were two other people in the car when Curtis Adams was killed. Just like Brandon Acuna, Harvey Liberato pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced to nearly 10 years in prison. Susanna Gavon, she pleaded guilty to accessory to murder after the fact and was sentenced to three years in county jail.